with USA Women's Goalball and we are partnering with the United States Association of Blind Athletes for staying fit while staying put. I'm Lisa Tchaikovsky. I'm Amanda Dennis. And you have Ileana Mason and Mary by Hukin on camera. And today we're gonna go through some upper body exercises that you can do in the home. So the first thing is you can um, get some things together that you may want to make it more challenging, like we have bottles of water. They are unopened, so you don't get water everywhere. Soup cans. And anything else that you can think of to add some weight if you wanna make these exercises more challenging. Um, you can also use TheraBands if you have access to them as well. So the first thing we wanna make sure we're gonna do is have a nice little space to work in because we're gonna warm up. All right, everybody. So let's get our legs and arms warmed up with some light jogging in place. You wanna try to get the heart rate up a little bit. And you can jog in place for 30 seconds to a minute, you know, once you start to feel warm. You can slow it down and then we can get start warming up our arms a little more with some arm swings. So straighten out your arms in front of you and then crisscross them in front of you, reaching out to the side. And then you can go into putting your arms out to the side and doing some arm circles, starting out with some little ones, going into big ones, or big ones going to little circles, whichever works to get your arms and shoulders warmed up. And then back into those arm swings. And then you can add now with the arm swings some rotations. If you wanna keep swinging your arms, just keep them still. All right, good job everybody. Now we're gonna warm up by bending at your waist and taking your right arm and touching your left toe and then alternating. exercises and we're going to do we're going to demonstrate the exercise and then do one set of 10 repetitions if you want to make it more difficult you should do more repetitions so again we're going to do one set of each thing at 10 reps so i'm going to grab my water bottles one person is going to be sideways in this video so you can get both views of a front view doing this and then also from a side view as well all right, first thing we're gonna start with is a shoulder press. So take your hands and put them on top of your shoulders, palms facing out, and you're gonna reach straight up in the air toward the sky, and then bring them back down again. And we're gonna do 10 reps of that. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. All right, I'm definitely feeling warm now. The next thing we're gonna do is a bicep curl. So drop your hands on toward your legs, take your palms and you can turn them out like facing forward and you're gonna curl, you're gonna keep your elbows tight against your side, you're gonna curl your hands to your shoulders. And again, we're gonna do 10 reps of these. If you, want, you can also change how you do your bicep curl by turning your palms in towards your legs and curling up that way as well. That's an alternate way of doing a bicep curl. All right, that was good. All right, our next thing is gonna be a chest press. So we're gonna bring our hands up toward our chest, our shoulders, and we're gonna have kind of our elbows out, and we're gonna have our palms facing out again, and we're gonna push forward. All right, and we're gonna do 10 reps of these. And again, if you want to make it more challenging, definitely do more repetitions. Good job. All right. The next thing we're going to do is a 
lateral raise. So you're gonna start with your arms down by your side, palms towards your legs, and you're going to extend your arms out side toward up, up to the side with your palms facing down. And then we'll do 10 more of these. As Lisa mentioned, um, a higher volume with these type of exercises is really important. It may start off easy, but if you go for two minutes, you will definitely feel a burn. PSA, these are never called girl push ups. They're called modified. <laughs> yep. So that's another way to get your, your chest and your upper body. And the last thing we want to show you is a tricep press using a chair. And so, again, make sure your chair is nice and sturdy. You can sit down on it. And then you want to put your palms on the edge and start walking your feet out. The farther your feet out are out in front of you, the harder it is. And you want to drop your butt to the floor and use your triceps to pull yourself back up. So there are just a few exercises that you can do at home and you can make them as challenging as you need them to be. So have fun staying fit at home. 